Welcome back. Here we go. Picking up Shovel Knight where we last left off, which I'm sure you remember. Is after we got 90 of those doohickeys, 570 of that thing, 4 hours 36 minutes of play, and 18 manuscripts. Um, and got some cool armor and other stuff. Yeah. Let's pick this up and, um, can. I don't know. Uh, oh, right, the Tower of Fate. Let's get shoveling. I got wrecked so bad last time I played this. Oh! Speaking of which. Yeah, gravity. Um, gravity is not the same underwater. Sure. Please don't stab me. Alright, so... Shit. Oops. Alright, well that didn't quite work either. Um... <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh, I can actually hit these guys. And... I thought they were like electric eels, and they just were not very stabbable. Uh, I appear to be corrected. Oh, that is... yeah. I forgot, I got this cool armor that makes you spin each time you jump. Uh, which is absolutely essential to gameplay. Um, it's imperative to play with style. Alright. Nope. Nice. Ah! Thankfully, that eel was there to, um, break my... the opposite of a fall. Oh, right. I've got quite the recoil from bouncing off of things. All right. Uh... oh. Even if I'm not holding out to the button, I've got quite the recoil. Well, we're not even going to make it to the boss, guys. You know, if I just keep dying to uh, inanimate objects, um, this could not be going very well. Right, here we go. Okay, down, 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 down. Okay, so far I'm making it down in one piece. Oh, do not hold down there. All right, well, we'll somehow... This is awesome how I'm finding every possible way to fail this. I defy somebody to find more ways to fail this than I have found. Alright. Let's hold down for this, but not for- oh! I didn't have an opportunity to stop there, actually. I did let go of down. Um... Alright, so let's go left, and perhaps in going left I will recall how I did this last time. Probably not, but you know, I just might happen to- oh, remember. Maybe it's just this armor that's just like dooming me. Oh, or I could try it that way. Alright. Guys, I made it to the first checkpoint. Oh, can I not, like, blast things? I thought I had a ranged shot here. Oh, that I do. I have to hold up. Boing, boing, boing. Nice. Um... Oh, I can't go above the stage. Jeez! That was wild. Alright, can I climb these? Yes, barely. Let's take the ruby. Nice. Oh, that wasn't very polite. Don't you know I should stand still while I'm stabbing you? 
Or did they not teach you that? Alright, so here's a magic vase. Um, nice. Oh, I don't... I can't pogo off the ground. Man, this is so not DuckTales. Alright, let's, um... Observe where those lava points are so they can... Ah! So they can hit us when we're not looking. Uh, shit, shit, shit. I need to break this block. Alright, made it through that room. We're like one... One thousandth of the way to the boss. Now what happens if I bust this? Nothing. Oh man, I was hoping for something awesome to happen there. Uh... Let's take the gold. Alright. Just keep smashing this into opponents. Um... Ah! Whoa, 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 shit, shit, shit. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going. Alright, that was close. Um... Can I time this, perhaps? Can I time this better? Ah, uh, that was close. Alright, at least I could take care of that guy. We got half of a hit point remaining. So that's pretty exciting. Um... Actually, that was so exciting, we just had to take a dive. Um... Now you can smash the checkpoints for extra points. Um, it's just... For beginners, that's probably an ill-advised move. Ooh, magic. Alright, let's just keep going. Boop! Alright. This is not ideal, because that thing's gonna... There wasn't much I could do about that. Okay, let's go, go, go. Perfect. Less than perfect, less than perfect! Ah! Okay. Ah! Wow. I'm sir... Um, I'm dying to inanimate objects more ob often than I am to animate ones. No, I should not have pogo there, should not have pogo there. That's okay. Alright, let's go! Nice. At least sometimes I can be effective at what I do. Ha! I survived. Alright. Nice. Now I can smash this over here and collect whatever it is that's down here that's sparkling. Assuming that whatever that is is collectible. Perhaps I assume too much. Yeah, I certainly assume too much. That's just a background sprite. So I died just to attempt to collect a background sprite. In fairness, if I could occupy the background... Um... That would make me a bit more invincible than I am. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, gotta go left, gotta go left. And up the ladder. Alright. This killed me a few times, I remember. This might remind you of something from Super Mario World. Um, you know, if you played good video games. Okay. Let's go up here. Shit. Let's keep going. Uh, wait, I need to go up this way. Uh, wait, how do I break my way through this? 
Okay, that works. Barely. Oh, that was mean. Why do they have to be exploding? Okay. Nice. I have survived the tower. <sighs> Which means that next we got a boss fight. Oh, we know. Ha! Recover all your hit points, recover all your stuff. Checkpoint. Here we go. And... yeah. All the bosses we faced thus far, all in the same room. It's been nice knowing you. Oh, I forgot all the voices. Oh, this. This is rich. Who let this peasant in here spoil our sumptuous supper? Hardly a surprise that you've yet again set foot where you don't belong. We should punish you. You're in deep now. We want a rematch. My new plans have no flaws. You can't win. A battle royale? Marvelous. Who will go first? Pass the salt. Ah! All right. Whoa! Wait, who's this guy? Uh, where'd he go? Oh. I might not want to touch that. Um. Wow, this is... Considering I've never played Mega Man, this is like one of the most intense boss battles I've ever faced. Um, you know... Wait, am I invulnerable to this fire thing? I doubt it. Hopefully this new armor holds up. Although I think the stated purpose in the store for this armor was just that it looks cool. Wait. Nice! Alright, boss one down. I'm so screwed. Oh, I need this food. I need this food! Oh! Those actually damage you. You can't, like, hit them to damage them. Wait, what? Okay. Man, it's been a while since I had to fight this dude. Um. Nice! Two for two. Please tell me I get some more food. Oh man. If there is an easy mode, I'm probably playing easy mode. That's not food, that's magic. Speaking of which... Oops, I stepped on the spikes. Yeah, I need to face that dude first. I really do. Plus, now I get to fight the whole boss rush again. So, who's first? Oh, cool. Whoa! Nice! Oh, I'm out of magic. I've consumed all my magic shooting whatever it is that I shoot at him. At him. 
No, 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 no. Ah. Not cool, bro. Jeez, I need to attack him. <laughs> Hitting him directly. Maybe I need to save some magic for my last shot against him. All that Mario experience is showing here. Yeah. Yeah, I need to play Mega Man at some point. Uh, simply won't do. Uh, I'm such an American. Such an American. You missed. You missed again. Alright, um... Okay, I got him. Barely. Oh, I actually didn't die there. Not even close. But I'm gonna grab this just in case. Ha! Tinker Knight! So simple. Such an easy boss. Boink! 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 Boink, boink, boink. Okay, fine. I'll take him seriously now. There's a reason I usually stick to turn-based games. Are you serious? Wait, no. This is part two of- yeah, I thought so. I like- I don't remember that part. Um... Wait, so he's not hitting me. I'm not hitting him. Okay, there we go. Oops. Come on, let me at him. Oh yeah, check out that Mario skill. All the Mario skill, right there. There we go. <sighs> Unfortunately, that's gonna be magic item rather than, oh, food, thank goodness. What? What is that? I don't remember this attack. I do not remember this one bit. Okay, well, that wasn't too memorable. Next boss! Crud! That's mean. Why can't you just stay put and let me hit you? There we go. Turns out that attacking from the side is a little more effective. Oops. I'm gonna need to pace this one. I can't hit him in that form. That's mean.
All right. Oh, I'm out of magic. Um. Ah! That was wonderful. Yeah, no, this is... This is the boss rush of the game, if I'm not mistaken, it's THE boss rush. Oh, this guy! Shit. This guy's hard. Um, I have no magic, so I can't hit him up there. Um... So, yeah. I have no ranged weapon. Um... So this is actually kind of challenging. At least when we were on like a multi-tiered kind of stage. Oh, here we are. There are some upper platforms in this stage now. So at least here I have some opportunity to hit him. Huh. Okay. Uh, apparently if you kill all three of them, he respawns them. Ah! Okay, I can't jump over that. Can't jump over that either. Jeez. Okay, I just walked right into that. That one's my fault. Huh. And if I swing my shovel in midair, it's not a reliable hit. Um. Jeez. He's good. I'm not good. Okay, I can't duck off the right edge, either. Um. Wow! He's got one heck of a hurt box. Oops, well, okay. Um, yeah, without some kind of ranged weapon, that part is really difficult. Alright, can I at least get him next, please? Nope, no such luck. Yeah, I stepped on uh, the spikes. You know, you think with all that armor. I would have something to protect against spikes, but no. <laughs> Apparently I have an affinity for the center of the room when I'm falling. That I can't control. Yeah, I really don't remember this, like, Prince, King thing, whatever. I'm gonna guess that uh, when I ended up fighting it last time, somehow the stage assisted it much more. Because that was a really clean... that was a relatively clean kill. I gotta admit, though, the Tinker boss fight is pretty hilarious. Even the, his theme is uh, entertaining. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken that right away.
Uh, sadly, no. The shovel does anything other than dig. Oops. Well, I fell. Key here is not to get too greedy hitting him too many times in a row, because then you fall down. Doop, doop, doop. Well, that was easy. Alright, this one's going to be challenging. Oh, I can't deflect those in midair. Okay. Ah, <sighs> that was exciting. Nice! Okay. <laughs> this guy was actually quite a, a challenge when I faced him in his stage, too. Um, he parries, like, everything. Uh, what am I supposed to do about him, I wonder? I suppose just don't get hit by the bombs, but then what? Um... If I remember his stage, you could fall off all the edges, too. There we go. Thank goodness for armor. Alright. Now things are going to get difficult. Um. Man, he's got... it's really difficult to hit him without getting hit yourself. Um... I keep forgetting I can't jump over that. I did try to dodge out of that one. Like, dodge right. No such luck. Uh... Where'd he go? Okay, I found him. I so found him. 
Alright. Um, then we got... Who's this guy? It's not Shovel Knight, it's something knight. I mean, they're all knights, but this one has a... He's got, like, his own sequel. Um... Yeah, I forget his name. Uh, okay. Jeez, he's good at dodging. Very tricky, sir. He's not the brightest fellow, not the sharpest crayon in the box. But, uh, yeah, he does one hell of a job dodging my projectiles. Uh, okay. We got him. Then we got underwater night dude thing. If I remember right, the underwater boss stage was like filled with spikes or something that made it really challenging. So what happened to that one that completely obliterated me last time? Oh wow. Really? Can I not dodge that? Okay. Apparently the best way to dodge that is just to destroy the boss. Um, I'll take it. Isn't there one more boss though? There's one that just completely wrecked me last time. That I didn't remember. King Knight says... Give us a hand, Shovel Knight. You wouldn't want to leave us to hang here, would you? Uh, how do I give them a hand? Okay, fine. You guys are cool. Ascent clear. No, but seriously, who was that guy who just completely wrecked me in there? I could swear there's one more boss that wasn't part of that. Also, have I really cleared all these stages? It's been a while. Um... Alright, to the Tower of Fate we go. For shovelry. I mean, did I just imagine something there? Wasn't there a ninth boss somewhere in that whole sequence that... I must have imagined it. Oops, well, that's dead. Oh, I mean, why not try to save them? It's the more heroic thing to do. Boop! All right, so... Ah! <laughs> They're even drawn to me after I've died. You know, I'm thinking the whole staying in one place shtick is not working. Uh, I probably shouldn't start from the left, though. Oh, well, I can actually bat these things away. Oh, I have to leave that behind. All right, here we go. To wherever this... Oh. Jeez. That had me worried. Um. Okay. I guess I'll take it. Um. Ay, ay, ay. I don't trust this. I very much do not trust this. 
There's gonna be a gap somewhere in the floor, it's gonna kill me. But whatever. What? Are you kidding? No traps. That was weird. It's a beautiful night, isn't it? Shield Knight! Come with me, let us leave this place. How pitiful, clinging to false hope, chasing ghosts. So, have you come to slay me, Knight? To avenge your beloved? I'm gonna say no. Gaze into my eyes, see how fearful I am. Watch me cower as you draw your blade. I don't need a blade to fight evil, Shield Knight. I just, I know you aren't lost forever. You haven't the slightest hope of defeating me. I won't stop you from trying, so please let us dance together into the abyss. Uh, okay. Sure, if you say so. Um. Oh. I was gonna say, like, I can prevent the. Oh. It doesn't destroy the floor, though. Oh, but she does. She's... Okay. Well, that was cool. Let's try that again. Ah, huh, these actually can... Okay, I can't just spam the button either. Ah, uh, did not mean to do that. <sighs> no matter. No matter. So, yeah, I'm gonna lose all my gold fighting here. Probably should have spent it before visiting the boss, but, you know... Didn't have much to begin with. Jeez. You weren't kidding about that abyss thing now, were you? That's not cool. Hiding below the stage? Oh shit. I shouldn't have called out the boss for hiding. It's actually a really smart move because I can't hit her down there. It's still a cowardly move, but it's an intelligent one. Just gonna jump and jump and jump and jump. Just keep jumping. Oh, that's clever. I can actually reconstruct parts of the stage this way. I'm not out of magic just yet. Ah! Okay. I have to use ranged weapons here. Because uh, evidently that's what I gotta do. Boss fight, part three. Action. Oops. 
I had no choice but to try to land on the boss there. Because I backed myself into a corner. Um, yeah, let's try that again. Oh, uh, this is not good. This is seriously not good. Alright, we got part of the stage back, guys. Even more of the stage has returned. Ah! Wow, that was close. It's like taking damage isn't even my greatest concern anymore because just falling through the stage is such a common occurrence. Alright, destroy the stage. There we go. I saw that coming. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Why, couldn't you spawn that stage sooner? All right, so let's try that again. I had to open my mouth and talk about how I anticipated one thing. All right. Let me guess, though, that surely all the boss noises are making a horrible echo. Um, I should turn this down a touch if that's the case. All right, can we get the center of the stage back pretty, please? Oh, nice. Alright, I'm gonna go to the right, left side of the stage, rather. Um, oh, I'm out of magic. So, I better win this soon. <laughs> Um... Alright, there's little avoiding that damage. Wow! Okay. I did not expect that level of activity. Jeez. Alright, let's... Turn that down just a, a mite. So I'm sure that's coming through loud and clear through um, both the mic and the speakers. Um, I'm sorry, both the PC game audio as well as the mic. Well, this is dangerous. Shit, 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 should not have done that. Alright. Please, pretty please spawn the stage. That's the opposite of spawn. Okay, I made it. Somehow. Alright, let's hang out over here. Oh, I didn't have to use magic there. Um, yikes! Okay, so... Uh, I walked right into that.
I walked right into that. Because I was too busy having fun trying to hit the boss. What happens if I start damaging the stage? I mean, I'm sure that's ill-advised, but I'm curious. Oops. Well, okay, that wasn't terrible, but... Uh, I'm losing all my gold fighting this boss, the Enchantress. Um... I forgot you shoot these things. Like, every time I fight a boss other than you, I just walk right up to them and start swinging, but... If you're gonna fire these projectiles, it's... Benefits me to fire them back. Um. Oh, I can bounce off that? Really? Maybe. Shit. I did try to jump over to the right a little bit, and that... I don't know. I keep losing control when I get hit. Which is basically how fighting works, but... I might have to endeavor to make this like a no-hit fight. Oh, nice. I got an achievement, guys. Um... Didn't know there was an achievement. Oh, wow, I can shovel those up. Well, that changes things a touch. Can I do that when she's firing from below? I missed. Um. One more hit, one more hit! Damn it! Can I not hit you? Are you serious? Does my last shot have to be like hitting one of your shots into you? Okay, I can't reflect those downward. Now I know. So if you could please not destroy the stage, it's like company property or something. Gosh darn it. There we go. Success. Somehow. Whew. Oh. You caught me. If only I'd known, I would have come sooner. You knew I was still there. Even though it seemed hopeless, you never gave up on me. I'll never give up on you. I'll follow you to the end of the world. It appears that maybe you have. What's happening? Oh no, when the amulet shattered, the magic within it was released. It's already gathering. It will escape and wreak havoc on everything. Unless we stop it. Unless we stop it, we can destroy it for good, here and now. But we're both weak from battle. I've never been more ready. Come on, Shovel Knight, let's fight together like old times. Now stay close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! I get all my hit points back. Never mind. Jeez, what the hell is this? Oh! I kind of get it now. I'm supposed to cooperate with... Shit.
This is nice. I finally have a shield. Uh, apparently just poke going off of the shield is not good enough. I'm so not accustomed to having that shield to work with. Alright, so I've got one hit... Nope, i got no hit points left. But I did hit the Enchantress once. Well, thank goodness I don't have to fight uh, the Enchantress both stages again. Ay, ay, ay. Wow, why do I... Why am I so bad at that? Oh, I have to land on her head. Okay. That's the deal. Oops. I did try to jump. Oh well. I'll try again. So apparently this battle, my only attack that works is my jump attack. Um. Oh! Never mind, there's no dodging that to the left or the right, because they cha those old things chase you to the edge of the world. Still, having a shield is so excellent. Um, it's such a different, such a change from the pace of the game where you just can't block anything. Suddenly, like, I'm blocking everything. Oops. Alright, so I've got half of a hit point left. Oh, I was aiming for the head, but, you know, you know how that goes. Can I not just leave the stage? I suppose not. Two, three? Two, three. Way to be useful. Damn it. Can't you have levitate for longer? What? Oh. Ouch. Ouch. You gotta be kidding me. Jeez. The timing on these hitboxes is something else. I guess I have to follow my partner. Okay. Yikes. Alright. We're gonna have no gold by the time we're done. Hope that's clear.
There's got to be a more effective way to bounce off of that shield to hit her, but... I guess part of that's just anticipating where my partner's going to show up. Holy moly! It's over, Shovel Knight. This place is falling apart. We have to get out of here. Let's go. Oh. Oh uh, yeah. Let's let's get a move. On. Oh, that hurts. Shield Knight. Black Knight. Thank goodness you're here. Shovel Knight is wounded. Take him and get outside. No, I can't leave you behind. How will you escape? This magic's too strong. Can't hold out much longer. Run! You can't deflect it. It'll tear you apart. I'm so happy got to see you both one last time. Shield Knight! Go take Shovel Knight! Save him! Promise me you'll save him! Okay. Well, I guess that's why we saved uh, Black Knight. Still. Yeah, that was one heck of a boss execution for... Somebody who, like myself, has not had much experience. Who's not played Mega Man. So that's why we saved Black Knight earlier. King Knight. Oh, are they all going to say witty things at this point? The rightful king returns. Yeah, this thing. Tr triple Pond. The celebrations begin. Spectre Knight. The life of the party. Yeah, Spectre Knight. Maybe he's the one I was thinking of. I was saying the like the ninth boss or something, because Spectre Knight is just like freaking invincible. Treasure Knight. Ill-gotten gains reclaimed. Yeah. Plague Knight. Plague Knight is really awesome. I think got its own sequel of a form. Advanced Potion class. Oh yeah, Life of the Party right there. Mole Knight. Excavations and Expeditions. Well, he enjoys a good journey, now doesn't... Ah! Just to say, like, how's he gonna get up there to get all that treasure? The Ladder. The Wandering Travelers. Oh, we've run into those folks a few times. Um, always ready for battle. Except when I kick their butts. The one, maybe two times we faced them. Propeller Knight. Yeah, Propeller Knight's pretty cool. I forget, did I face Propeller Knight in the boss rush? That might have also been the one thing. Tinker Knight. I like the boss design for Tinker Knight. Um. Oh, toys for the children. Very cool. Huh. <laughs> Involuntarily giving children toys. Whatever. Polar Knight. Yeah, no, the Tinker Knight boss is amazing. Um. I just think you can make, like, an entire game out of it. Ah, Polar Knight. Maybe if he stopped wrecking the level on the stage, um, he'd have, um, he wouldn't be stranded. Safe at last. I kept my promise, Shield Knight. Rest well, Shovel Knight. 
until we meet again. Victory! Achievement unlocked. Holy moly, so that's the... okay. See, had I known that, like, the boss rush and the Enchantress would be the end, I didn't know that that would be the case. Had I known, I might have persisted last time. Um, even though I was really getting my butt kicked last time I played this. Um, which I feel was, like, a year ago, probably longer. If anybody happens to know what was the last time I played this game, let me know. Because I don't remember. No, I could swear it's like a year ago. Oh, well, it's been translated to French, Italian, German, Spanish, Russian, Brazilian. Or Brazilian Portuguese. 8-4 LTD. Yeah, um, so what happened to Shield Knight? I guess we'll have to wait for the sequel to find out. No, but seriously, um, I guess the deal with the series is, if this is a series, I don't know that Plague Knight actually picks off. Maybe it's a prequel, sequel, alternate universe sort of thing, I don't know. But it seems like the deal with this, um, that's a lot of Wozniaks, that's cool. The deal, um, is that Shield Knight gets kidnapped at the end of the game, as well as the beginning? I don't know. Unlike, say, a Mario universe where at the beginning of each game there's a kidnapping. Well, here, I don't know. What was unlocked? Honestly, I don't know. We defeated the Enchantress. And then the Enchantress went crazy and um, demolished the castle. Shield Knight held off the Enchantress's attack. Oh, current record. <laughs> current any percent speed run. Smoggy, 4351. That, that's really cool that that uh, statistic gets patched into the game, I presume. So each time somebody breaks the record, I guess they put out a new patch. Or, I don't know how that works, but... Um, but yeah, I think the what we succeeded at was defeating the Enchantress. Oh. Oh, oh. Now we get to count all the deaths. 24 deaths to the entrance to the Tower of Fate. 14 deaths in the ascent of the Tower of Fate. 16 deaths in the last part of the Tower of Fate. 120 lives lost. Played for five and a half hours. Only collected 56% of the items. You know, I probably should have visited the store more often. Probably should have kept on the lookout for more barred scrolls. But, yeah. Evidently, I've played this game for five and a half hours. In total. It feels like a lot more. Perhaps because I'm trying to do something like entertaining commentary, although this um, session, that didn't go too far. Oh, wait, Shield Knight? I mean, just take away the first digit and it's pretty close. Yeah, just take away the five hours, and yeah, we're, we're pretty much in the ballpark. Yeah, friends to the end. Well, in fact, yeah, there's the end. And they're friends. To right there. And then after that point, they're no longer friends. Very cool. Very nice. So... That's Shield Knight. Ooh, we unlocked Plague of Shadows. Play a new adventure starring the alchemist, or the... the alchemical mastermind, Plague Knight. Create a new profile to begin. Oh, 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 oh. 
Nice. Challenge mode. <laughs> okay, let's try challenge mode, because I'm not up for an entire new adventure. Anchors away. Survive an endless onslaught of propeller. Yeah, why not? Oh, nice! Well, this makes up for what I was saying about giving him his own stage. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, this is pretty serious, actually. Um... Okay. This seems pretty... Spe oh. Hey, I've got anchors. I thought I was going to have some other kind of spell. Oh, hang on. We need magic. Shit, shit, shit. We need magic. And a miss. Uh, yeah, my item is the anchor. Oh, I'm out of magic. That's a good time to fall off the stage. Propeller rats. I think the key is um, to not panic. Damn it. I think there's only a limited number that can spawn on the screen at once. So you should exploit that fact by not clearing them all at once. Oops, I took two hits. <sighs> but yeah, I feel like this is going to be something like the Enchantress, where I'm like nowhere near it for a very long time, and then all of a sudden I just clear it like a god. Um... Also, I could just leave that bunch right there. Shit, 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 shit! Yeah, I needed that pot. But, I think... If I just, like, stay up here as much as I can... Try to keep these guys toward the top of the screen. This will be easier. I surrounded myself. Oh, I did not take a hit. That could have been a lot worse. Shit. Challenge clear! Nah, that wasn't so hard. 
Yeah, it's just 50 seconds. It's probably a lot harder to do a minute. Bounce off those dirt clods to victory. Sure. Uh... Wait, how does this work? Reach the goal. No time limit. Okay. Miss! <laughs> Alright, we'll try this again. These challenges are really cool. One, two. One, two. Oh, I have to hit that thing in midair? Are you kidding me? Okay. I forgot that goes left. My mistake. I jumped way too early. Much too early of a jump. Okay. The time that precisely. Ah, eh, close enough. Let's try that again. Nice. Uh, right. Okay, here we go. Nice. Challenge clear. Wow, I was expecting that to be, like, considerably more evil. Alright, Tick Tock Tower. Prevail on a crazy elevator ride without swinging the shovel. Okay, without swinging the shovel. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um. Like, if I swing the shovel, is it. Oh, I can't swing the shovel. Like, literally, the button to swing it. Is disabled. However, I can still do this. Alright, so yeah, I sense that. Oh, I have no item either, despite having 50 magic. Ha! <laughs> Got too absorbed in collecting the gold. So who doesn't want to go away with a big stash of gold? I still don't get the point in the rule of no swinging the shovel, though. If the game lets you proceed other ways. Whoa! Okay. Oh, I got impatient. I should have looked before leaping. Bye! 
Oh, that's a challenge complete point there. Um, I don't like this. Oops. That's my mistake. I jumped too early. Come hit me, right over here. Oh, you got me. <laughs> okay. Uh, come don't hit me? Not over here? Okay. There we go. That tricked him. Bye! Alright, so over here... Like, what the heck? How am I supposed to do this? <sighs> it's almost like I want to just take a hit from some of these so I can walk on the spikes. Um, I actually don't see another way about this. Just feels wrong to do that, but like there aren't enough of these platforms going around for me to do anything else. Oh, I should face the other way if I'm gonna take a hit. Right? Because video game logic dictates that if you are taking a hit, then you recoil opposite the direction you're looking. Regardless how fast you're moving or how fast the projectile's moving that hits you. Alright, I see a comment and I can't read it because the dang level. Ah! No, no, no! Uh, okay, there we go. We survived. We survived somehow. You skipped a section to the left that would have brought you higher out to take the two... Uh, oh. There's something to the left here? Oh, so I did. Oh. Okay. That doesn't quite work. Um... Yeah. All right. Who knows how long it would have been stuck going through this maze trying to find stuff. <laughs> okay, I was having too much fun killing them. Um, the actual goal is just to... Okay, screw that. We're gonna try this again. With all three of our hit points. The goal is just to reach the goal.
Wait, can I not dash down there? Yeah, I don't think I can actually reach off the left side of this part of the stage. Yeah, I can't, like, down and dodge or something to dash there. So, yeah, killing that guy didn't help. Um, so I'm just confused. Looks like I might have to do this legitimately. Okay, so... Wait for the last these last two to come by. Oh, never mind. I accidentally took a hit. I was trying to do that legitimately, trying to bounce off the last two, and then vertically, or hit the things that are falling after that. But you know, good enough. We made it. Stay atop the rising tide of bubbles. Ha! How hard could that be? See, there's a ladder and everything. Oops. Wow, did I just fail it? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Oh, I can't just climb off the top of the stage and call it a day, apparently. Man, this is slow. Final words. Well, that didn't quite work. Um, yeah, I should play more skillfully. Apparently speed's not everything. Boink, boink, oh crap. Alright, mm, see, easy, so easy. Easy peasy. So easy. When you don't screw up. A lot harder when you do. Oops. <laughs> oh, I almost made it. Almost. How about this time? Whoops. Alright, so we got five hit points. That should be more than enough for this stage. Boink. I had to take the gold. There's no turning down that gold. Alright. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, I hit something that I probably shouldn't have hit. Um. Oh, wow. Probably don't want to hit that thing. Mm 
Nice. All right. Well, that was fun. Double bubble. Dagger dash. Master the propeller dagger to reach the goal. What? Oh, I've got the propeller dagger. Uh oh. Well, gosh. Wait. Which button's the propeller dagger? Evidently not that button. Okay, it is up and um, special. I think there's a lot of special levels. Oops. I think there's like 30. Oh, these platforms don't go up and down, they just go down. Good to know. Let's try that again. Do -do -do. Wait, can I not jump off that platform? I could have sworn I hit the jump button like four times there. Um, that was too slow on the draw. Oh, that's no good. This is getting more extreme now, isn't it? Close enough. Uh, let's try a different stage. Extendo Retracto. Cleverly use the phase locket to help your timing. Oh god. What is this? That's a background object. I can't hit that. Um... Oh, that makes me invincible or something. <laughs> Alright, it also suspends you in midair temporarily. that. It's not expected that you'll do what I just did. Um, okay, so... Nope, 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 nope. Wow, this is a good challenge. Yeah, you're supposed to use your special power to make it up there. hear two noises. Just to be tricky. Okay. Shit. Okay, I made it. Yikes. Good enough. I might have glitched a wall or something, but my, my reaction time was close-ish. 
Dragon Chase Race. Bounce on your Dive Drake pals to reach the goal. Oh. Fuck. Come back here! Okay. I assume... There's more than one of them? Nope. Just the one. Whee! Okay, that didn't work. Um... There's just one. That's why it's a race. Ha! Okay, this is getting serious, guys. Try that again. Reach the goal. Boing, 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 boing. Maybe I just have to be like immediately next to the ice block before I smash it. Oops. Wow, I forgot how ice works. Does anybody remember, like, oh, never mind. I missed, um, let's try that again. Does anybody remember, um, like, if you're walking on ice, what happens? You just slide and you just keep going. Because you don't have the coefficient of friction to stop. Uh, okay. Two. So, I've got to be careful about this. I was close, I was next to that, but not close enough. And I should have been on the up arc of my trajectory instead of the down arc while I was swinging. Oh! So apparently, like, if you swing and then try to recover, there's no, there's no recovery from that. It's either you swing or you uh, use the shovel like this. You don't get to choose both. Um, wait, I've got another buddy. Okay, I'll take this buddy. Wait, do I need both buddies to get through the stage? Yes, I do. Okay. Ah! Uh, a little help here. Oh, I want to keep bouncing on the dude. He's just so helpful. Alright, that's challenge seven. Oh, there's 26 of these. Birder Herder. Collect the gold while avoiding the unpredictable birders. Get 800 gold. How much gold is there? There's... Is 800 all the gold in the stage? Well, I'm dead. Let's try that again. I forgot that the green goop allows you to spring really high.
<laughs> oh man, those birders are evil. Oh, that was an interesting attempt. Ah! Nah, that attempt wasn't going so well anyway. Unpredictable use. Oh, I forgot I could move that. Also, lava hurts for two, not one, so I need to be really, really careful up there. Oops, well that's no good. Ha! And even if I can hit the birder for one for the shovel, I can't hit it twice. We're learning the game mechanics here, guys. There's also a time limit. Which is why I'm making some pretty hasty and stupid moves. I wasn't kidding that those things are unpredictable. Oh, I was gonna say, can I not drop through that gap? Oh, well, I sure tried there to fight him. I sense that 800 is all the gold in the stage. You thought the birders were unpredictable. Just wait until you see my moves. Fuck. Um, collecting 800 gold with some of it missing could be challenging. Yeah, I have to collect all the gold. I can't just let it sit there. <laughs> okay, hit me again. Alright. Wow, can I not make it through that first part of the stage without a hit? Lava hits for two. Lava does not hit for one. Shit. I had five seconds left, which is why I was making that super aggressive move, which had like no chance of working. Shit. Well, I'm dead. Get knocked off the platform. Even getting hit by the birders isn't the worst thing.
Okay, we got 400 gold. Wait, didn't I collect all the gold? Did I miss the upper left corner? I was so caught up in... I don't know. Something. I thought that it was okay. Yeah, I've got 200 now. Well, okay, so I'm making progress. The hooker by crook. <laughs> I did not dodge the lava. I I thought I had a chance there. Horizontal vector of the birds go left to right at constant velocity, so yeah. Yep! So if I could just dodge them, you know. It could be golden here. Literally. It's up to 700 with 20 seconds to go. Yeah, if I just engage in a non-engagement policy with these dudes, um, in theory that should be a mutually beneficial arrangement. Um, you know that they like these challenge levels must be optimized for like a speed run, just so it... I don't know. Whoever designed this level probably prevented you from doing some ultra cheesy thing to instantly collect everything. Shit, didn't mean to hit him. It's going to throw off everything. Forgot about the lava until I started swinging my shovel. Okay, I mean, no, I can't just bounce off of that. Um, my mistake. Again, my mistake. Going in that corner was possibly not a great idea. Uh, so, this is quite challenging. Wait, can I push this all the way over? No. At least not initially. Okay. 
Okay, so there's no point in pushing that into where that other lava's falling. I wish I could fall down that gap a little more easily. We're at 600. Uh, if I could have just have dodged that, I would have been really close to victory. That was unwise. What? Oh, that's sad. 799. <sighs> That's a rounding error. <sighs> oh. That is such a rounding error. Yeah, one of the gold probably disappeared from the upper right to the lower right when I wasn't able to get it. Something stupid like that. Fuck, I need to get down to this lower right corner to grab that so we don't encounter the off by one thing again. That didn't work. So we're at 600. So far, so good. Had to jinx it. Had to jinx it. Well, that was sad. Alright, so maybe I should collect the stuff on top first. Okay, that didn't quite work. Ha! No gold for you. Challenge clear! And is he celebrating his shot in the back by one of those bird things? But we got it. Yeah, that change of strategy going after, after the upper left corner first helped out. Cog bounce chaos. You know, I probably should have read the description before trying this, but... How hard could it be? Wait, seriously? Okay.
Oh, I've got five hit points, though. I'll take that. <laughs> Probably don't want to get hit in midair. Although you never know, getting hit in midair could have advantages. Like giving you invincibility frames so you don't get hit a second time in midair. Or allowing you to walk on spikes, you know. Things that just come with getting hit. Boing, boing, boing. Boing, boing. Oh! I didn't see that platform. My mistake. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, I have to stop pogoing on those things. Two. Oops. That's the first time I had to dodge that. Try not to get hit again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, that didn't work. I missed my window. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ah, ah, ah. That gear moves faster than the other ones. Like, I would say most of these gears move slowly. That one was moving at a decidedly different speed. I hope there's some solution that allows you to reach the goal, but not alive. And then I could be all pedantic about it, never said you had to reach the goal in one piece. I got impatient. Man, patience is such a virtue. Boing. There we go. Gear number three. Gear number four, and let's go. Ah! Apparently I can recover from that. Uh, just can't recover from being stupid. So I don't know what to do. That last platform seems very challenging to dodge. Maybe I just need to time my jump differently or something. One thing that's really cool about this game is like, so it's... It has all the nostalgia of the classic Nintendo game, but um, it's 60 FPS, so you can do some really precise things with it. Like, really precise. Okay, I didn't catch that there. Do I have an opportunity to jump onto the next platform, or do I have to go back and forth? I'm guessing there is no opportunity to skip to the next platform there. Three. Four. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I have to go back and forth. It's not just being fancy. That platform doesn't show up. Until you go back and forth. Yeah. You gotta see if there's some way to uh, die as you're entering the goal. 
And if there is, there should totally be a Steam achievement for it. Just because it's the most ridiculous way to accomplish the objective and still fail the stage. Four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, nice. Wait. Fuck. I misjudged the distance to the ceiling. Fifteen in a row there. I was counting. Okay, this is probably too early to be on this platform. At least that the game does not give you the control to scroll the screen. Which would be entirely disorienting. I jumped after falling in the hole, does that count? That does not count. I'm being informed that jumping after you've fallen into a bottomless pit does not, in fact, count. Alright, let's go to the next stage. Um, unarmed Descent. Uh, I should have read that. Oh, okay. Definitely should have read that. Wow! Can I do better? Okay, that was marginally better. Let's try doing even a little bit better than that. So when does this become hard? Uh, probably around here. Of course, that would get me. Not the unpredictable thing, but the predictable thing gets me. Not that I saw any of it coming, and I was very much caught off guard by all of it, but... Whee! I mean, it's the second time we bypassed a stage. Do you really want me to go back? Um, there was a lot of downtime in that level. Just in terms of waiting for the screen to scroll. I guess this one is getting repetitive pretty quickly, too. So if you want, I can go back to the last one where I was at least making some progress. Also, it says boss. Should I be worried about that? Damn it! I even tried to dodge there. Whoops. That's a new way to fail. Okay. Whee! Nice. Record time. Okay, we're going back. Executive decision. We're going back to Cog Bounce Chaos. Because I didn't do so badly at this stage as I did at the next one. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That must have been fifteen. Because last time I did that many, it was fifteen. I just lost count somewhere in the middle. Ah, come back here! My platform! Reach the goal. Can't I just, like, redefine what the goal is? That was 14. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, ah, no 15. <laughs> I couldn't decide whether to go left or right there. I made the worst decision. Fifteen. That's cool how the screen scrolls along with his dead body. He's not gonna let any silly thing like dying stop him from scrolling. didn't quite work. I do like this background track. Although the intro, not so much. But yeah, once that a horn instrument, I want to say? I can't tell what kind of horn that is. But once that like chip tune horn thing enters, then we got a tune. Ah, come back here, platform. Oh wait, that that might be a wave, not a horn. It might be like a square wave or something. No. It seems too gentle to be a square wave. Too mellow, rather. Does anybody know what that instrument is? The solo instrument. It might be a triangle wave. It might be a square wave. It might it's some kind of wave. That's getting intense. And yeah, you can see those Mario skills at work. It's all about the platforming and not anything about the boss battle. Though you can also tell them quite impatient as I'm... I don't know. Like, it's one thing that I can't scroll the screen myself, but this is... But an auto-scroller... As opposed to, say, a game where it's just a platformer or no auto-scrolling. I would do much better with that. Um, auto-scroll levels are hard. By design. Wait, how much 
How does this go? That way, the, the way that gear p picks up velocity is really weird. Hey, I made it! Made it to the next platform. Oh well. Now I guess because the gear is still busy bouncing, it doesn't accelerate on this until it's like solidly on the platform. Jeez, developer thought of everything there. Unlike me, thinking about the physics and not about trying to dodge the spikes. Sorry, you got carried away with the music. It's not very strategic. Yeah, this whole jumping with the beat thing is not a very strategic move. Okay, I can't help it but jump with the beat. The tune is too strong. The tune is much too strong. We'll find a way to make the beat work for us. If not, um, I'll just have to rearrange the track to be like... have a slight pause at the start or the end, such that the beat can work for us. Sorry, I, I can't help it. We'll just find a way to make it work. I'm just that bored with the auto-scroller that I'm willing to jeopardize Shovel Knight's life.
I was bored. I was much too bored. S stage moves so slowly. I'm so ready to move on to the next part of the stage. Let's keep going! Let's do this! I failed that. Uh, although, the fact that, like, this and Well, I guess the projectiles aren't scripted. But the rest of this level is scripted, so it's exactly the same thing every single time, other than the projectiles. Those being the missiles. Um, so, in theory, somebody could learn to play this entire stage blindfolded. Um, and not even having seen the level first. It would be a total pain, but they could do it. Okay. Yeah, that's what I get for beginning too bored with the stage. I'm so ready for the next part. It's like I'm actually playing on a NES. Just saying. You can definitely re-experience that NES experience of being so ready to move on to the next thing. And the game just saying, no, I don't think so. This one moves you to the left. Evidently. Oh, that's it? Oh man, I was expecting a s an entire second half of this level. Okay, we're skipping ten. Mm. Yeah. Here we go, King Knight! Oh, we have just one hit point. That's more like it. I was wondering what was going to make King Knight so exciting. He's really not, I don't know, the most worthy of challengers, we'll say. Oh, the time limit! Freaking time limit. Yeah, I forgot there's a ridiculous... a 30 second time limit. Holy smokes. Am I gonna have to defeat the other bosses in 30 seconds? Oh 
Oh man, I'm in such a rush to defeat him. He's got 20 hit points. Am I right in assessing that each pogo's half a hit point? Jeez. Yeah, no, this seems... How does anybody do this? I'm not gonna say it's impossible, but... You really have to know what you're doing. Let me try bouncing on him again, since I seem to have my greatest success doing that. Like, I can't seem to swing my shovel at him in midair. Oh, I've... I have no item. Yeah, I'm so done trying to win that in 30 seconds. Um, only because I enjoy Tinker Knight. Let's try it. A minute 20. Oh, I forgot that coin... Coin is rather short-lived now, isn't it? I had never imagined of using the coin on Tinker Knight, though. That's fantastic how, um... Hang on, I'm mildly distracted at the moment. It's fantastic how the timer keeps ticking through the transformation sequence. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, well, the mic is clipping. Okay, I'll back up and touch. I'll back up a touch if I'm clipping. Like, the timer just keeps ticking through that transformation, and as the boss, like, recharges its hit points. That's just so fantastically unfair. Which I assume is why the time limit's a minute 20. Okay, yeah, now that's just crazy. What else is there? Um... Whew! Holy crikey. Let's try Dagger Dash once more. Um... This seems comparatively easy. Comparatively easy, he says, as he dives immediately into the hole. Oh, 
Well, I tried. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Oh. Wait. That was not where I expected it to be. What is this? I don't understand it. Okay, that didn't quite work. <laughs> Indecision. Indecision is a very consequential thing. That was the wrong button. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. <laughs> Suppose I can do better. Ouch. So much pain. So little gain. Uh, I was too impatient. Now I'm starting to get the hang of this um, item. I want to use it everywhere. Like right there, I just want to bolt right through uh, those three cauldrons. Man, I wonder what the speed run for this level looks like. Somebody, whoever designed this level is a fan of speed running. Um, and I say that from a perspective that you can't cheese your way through this level. That a speed run is going to be a very highly demanding execution. Uh, with. You can't just, like, Nintendo-style the speedrun, um, where, um, I mean, you guys have seen, like, you've probably seen a Mario Maker level, where you can do something that's very visually impressive, but not extremely technically demanding that still clears the stage. Oh, that's it. Nice. We'll take it. It is only stage five, so... Makes sense they'd be able to clear that. Um, should we try Unarmed Descent once more? Oh, man. I take back everything I said about auto-scrollers. They're amazing. They're perfect. They're wonderful. They're not this, at any rate. Yeah, like, I can see when you reload the stage, that's pretty much the tap of a button. That's really easy to do, uh, in terms of just, I'm ready to try again. 
I imagine there's probably other non-UI can... Oh! That item splits when it's above me. Noted. I thought that item would just split once it reached a certain X position, but no. Um, but yeah, I imagine there's things other than UI concerns. Ha! I fell for that again. I need to just be a slight bit more patient there. Ah! I changed my mind. But I changed it too early and too late. I have just one hit point. Okay, I thought I had... I have half a hit point. Uh, I thought I had two. I'm confusing this with another stage. Alright, so I should just hang loose here. Wait for Spellboy to shoot a spell. And not do that. Uh, don't know what I was thinking there. Well, that actually goes down there. It's difficult to track, trace that frisbee thing. They also removed some of the overworld? Huh. What? That can go through walls. That is... such cheese. Uh, I should have known by now, but still, it's good to know. <sighs> so... to clear that part of the stage, I'll need to decoy that shot. All right, let me take a look at this. I mean, I could even jump on this guy on the right. Do I think this guy on the right's gonna pose me an issue? No. Okay, how far does that disc on the left go? That disc on the left doesn't touch the bottom floor. So, as long as I hang out in the bottom floor and keep going left and right and left and right, I'm okay. Jeez. Okay. Well, let's give it a try. That's ridiculous. How am I supposed to clear that? I am so confused. So we got the one thing that goes horizontally and covers everything horizontally, and then we got the vertical shot thing. I need to be out of that section by the time that vertical... Okay, so I need to go under this guy, basically the lower left corner, wait for that green thing to target me, then run up the ladder. I think that's the only way. If not, um, it seems like the most practical way. Something like that, but um, hmm, I need to time that differently. Actually, why does it need to be the lower left corner? Why can't it just be like just to the right of the ladder? That that's something I could try. It doesn't really matter what the exposition of that shot is when it disperses. Actually, does the shot disperse automatically? That's something I could look at. 
If it disperses automatically upon reaching the other side, then I just need to race this. Yeah, it does disperse, so I just need to follow the shot. Why can't these guys be synced? Alright, so I need to... Oops. Yeah, my greatest chance is if I just follow the shot. Follow your nose! Alright. That was too early. Hmm. See, that did automatically disperse upon hitting the edge. Um, I need to wait for him to shoot, and then I need to bolt for it, I guess. It doesn't make any sense, though. I'll give it another try. Might have to watch a walkthrough to see how this is done, because... Um, I'm missing something pretty key here. Just seems like there's no time to dodge that. Um, I could try jumping into the guy on the left and try to kill him. Actually, jumping into the guy on the left would at least... Let me try that other idea I was thinking of. <laughs> I was too anxious. Much too anxious. pattern here, Houston. Um, either I really badly timed that, or you can't attack him. I'm going to try attacking the guy in the lower right, just to see if I can hit these guys. I mean, I should be able to thematically. There's... Wait, what? Does my shovel not work in this level? My shovel does not work in this level. I need a new shovel. Okay, so I can't hit anything. That's super annoying. At least that answers a question. Do that there. Oh wow! There is a wide enough gap. What? What? Um. Cool. And hot. Mostly cool. Okay. I might want to just stay on the ladder for that one. <laughs> Be like, you know what, guys? You just have fun blasting all day. See me when you get tired, and we'll, like, go out for food or something. Yeah, apparently there's a pretty large timing gap there. Shit. Not like that. Okay, it's not that large. Am I not invincible down here? Okay, so that parrot thing... It's a sine wave. It's such a sine wave. 
And it's not a cosine wave. Wait. Okay, so I have to get under that other platform. Yikes. Um... <sighs> okay, I've got to risk something here. No, I can't do it that way. I can't jump that. There's too many fireballs. I have to just run like heck when it's time. It's like time in between the waves. Okay, I see the low point. As long as I avoid the low point, I should be safe-ish. I can stand here, apparently. Apparently I can stand here as well. Um... Now for figuring out how to ascend the damn ladder. Ay ay ay. Oh! I have to hold my spot up there. Um... There's another safe zone on, yeah, the third platform. So. Oops. My mistake. Kamehameha! Oops. Alright, that was too fun. Let's try again. Da -da -dum. Right up to the top this time. <laughs> Down to the bottom. Perfect. Alright, so let's not get hit this time. Ah, uh, close enough. We almost didn't get hit. <sighs> Can't I just, like, get that parasol item from... or whatever it was? The thing that makes me dash and fly. Couldn't I just use that on this stage? These guys have got something synchronized here. Nope. That was unwise. That was super unwise. Also, just having a working shovel would be good for this stage. And not jumping out right in front of that. I wonder, can I actually time this first thing right into it? I mean, there's no reason to, but could I actually dodge that first shot if I just jumped onto the ladder and started climbing immediately? Uh, I don't think so. Perfect. Alright. Oops, I forgot where the safe spot was. Okay, this works. Um, another safe-ish spot. Ha! Ah! Okay, that was stupid. Um... I found a spot that apparently is safe that shouldn't have been. Oh man, I am so impatient. I'm so ready to see the next room. 
Do 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 do. Okay, that's room one. Oops, I forgot that guy can one shot you like right there. Nope. Faster, faster. That was too close. I am just so distracted. Oops. Yeah, just see how distracted I am. One, two, uh, oh my goodness, I'm stupid. Uh, why did I think that would work? Probably because I'm stupid. Damn killer snowflake. Wow, there's a lot of time between those two firing. Okay. Now I just need to stand on the platforms. Oh. Wow. See how much attention I'm paying. Oh my goodness. This is what happens when you play when you're hungry, but you don't want to give up playing because you're like in the middle of playing. Okay, ah, that's no good. Alright, don't shoot me guy. Okay, the other guy shot me. That's cool. I only told the one guy not to shoot me, so that's perfectly okay. Oops. I'm so ready to move on to the next part of the challenge. You know, and at the same time, I'm just really not ready. Um. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not sure if I even have the skill to complete it. Pretty sure I don't, um, but you know it's a it's a tough game, so somebody's got to play it. Ah, okay, so much for that theory. I wanted to see if that were doable. Apparently, no. Jumping up that ladder at the very beginning is ill-advised. It might be like frame perfect possible, but I don't think so. Dumb. Man, there's so many easier games than this one. But this one's pretty epic, so... That was my chance. Hey, I made it off the top of the screen for a fleeting instant. Um. Just 
Shit, that's not gonna work. Abort mission! Abort mission! Alright, so when I jump on those platforms on top, only the even numbered platforms are safe to stand on. That's good info. Wait, okay, I was gonna say that guy in the bottom just stopped firing when I started looking right. If so, that's a new game mechanic. Alright, so... Gotta look out for the fire thing. Yeah, whatever. I am... I don't have the patience for this, unfortunately. Ah, I'm curious what lies up there. But... Each passing try... I don't know, I'm making progress randomly. But it's not nearly enough to clear this. Um, yeah, no, I probably don't have to climb all the way to the top of that ladder, you're right. Um, probably have to climb to the top of the first ladder. Might not be a bad idea. See what I get for trying things differently. It's fun. Uh, but no, climbing up here keeps me out of trouble because otherwise I'm just gonna jump right into their fireballs. I know I don't need to do it, but it's the only thing that keeps me disciplined enough not to jump right into enemy fire. Shit, that's not good. That's also not good. Uh, so we need to try this again. Yeah, I... syncing those up is tricky. I mean, I could climb up to here and then jump for it, but um, I'm just gonna get myself shot every time doing that. Even though Theoretically, there's got to be some way to survive that. Can I jump for ladder 2 from- oh, I can! Check it out. That's the speedrun strat now, guys. Ladder 2. <laughs> uh, okay. Whee! Okay. That was mildly insane. Can I clear- how quickly can I clear this first screen? Well, that doesn't count as clearing. That's a miss. Da -da -da. Ah! You had to grab the first ladder. No, I want the second one. Okay, we got the second ladder. I just need to go a touch faster. And we might have the speedrun strat. Okay, oh, that's no good. Turns out you have to hit up to hold on to a ladder. Or to grab a ladder, rather. Uh, I hit up too late. Or too early there. Hit up when I was not lined up with the ladder. Okay, can I just like dangle off the bottom of this? No. There's no way. Yeah, when you're on the ladder, um, you have to be. Um, your entire avatar has to fit on the bottom part of the ladder. So I still clear it in the same number of cycles, but that's like five times as dangerous, so... 
That's the way we gotta do it now. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't have the patience for this. I need to have some food. Um, it made some good progress this game, though. Um, let's take on Plague Knight, because there's no way this is going to work. Although you'd think that if I have any chance of... Oh, I'm, like, invincible-ish. Jeez! What the hell? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Um. Okay, forget that. Um. Black Knight? How hard could Black Knight be? Psst. Push over. What the hell? I don't remember that power. Well, I'm out of magic. Hope you got ideas, because I sure don't. Do 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 do. Wow, that is an awesome boss fight. But you know what's going to be even more amazing than that? Phantom Striker. Oh, this isn't who I thought it was. Wow, I thought he shot my avatar way off to the left side of the screen. Yeah, no, that's not happening. Uh, let's try Enchantress. Because, you know, this is going to be easy. That boss that killed us a billion times. Um, now trying to clear it with like 60 seconds. Um, I do have items. Defeat the boss. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Remnant of fate. Sure, why not? Not a problem. Easy peasy. Just one shot them like we did, you know. Uh, by sheer luck. Oh, I missed that I actually have a useful magic thing. God damn it. Okay, cool. Are you gonna cover me though, right? Seriously? Ten, nine, eight. Okay, thanks for nothing, Shield Knight. I practically need to anticipate where Enchantress is, or where where this character is going to appear next. Shit. Oh, he failed. Alright, just finish me off. Yeah, that's not happening. The Remnant of Fate is... Yeah, these get progressively harder. Imagine that. Let's take a look at what we got. We finished the game. 
Um, we did not attain all the song scrolls. Nor the sparkling fishing spots. Did not fish those. Um, okay, we hit enemies with a reflected projectile 30 times. Um, defeat all the wandering travelers. Defeat four of the Order of No Quarter. Spend a combined 25,000 gold. Finish any stage without taking damage is a thing? I could maybe do that. <laughs> Finish the game without dying. Yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. Finish the game without spending any money. I could maybe try that. Um... Finish the game without falling into a bottomless pit. Oh god. Really? <sighs> Defeat an enemy with the flare wand for more than 25 blocks away. Uh, collect 2,000 worth of gold lying on spikes while using the phase locket. Oh, yeah, that's eventually going to happen. Destroy five enemies within five seconds using Chaos Spheres. Okay, what else do we get? Bo defeat five foes at once using the War Horn. Uh, finish any stage without dying. Thank goodness there are some uh, achievable achievements here. Just saying. Uh, yeah, some people are extraordinarily good at this game, though. Um... Like, I think, I could swear I've seen Dark Twinge do this a number of times, and he's extremely good at it. And, like, what the heck? How does anybody, like, have that sort of reflexes? But I guess if you've played Mega Man, then you're probably good at this sort of thing. Um... Finish off the Black Knight with a reflected shot. Listen to all of Croker's puns. Seems like that's something we can do. Finish a level without eating any food. It's eventually going to happen. Use caution and common sense around campfires. Yeah, we got that. Awesome. Balance on the hoop kid's hoop for five seconds. Ooh. Ooh, that's something. That's going to taunt me forever. Um... Don't collect any gold for an entire... <laughs> Why would you do that? Those are fantastic for collecting gold. But okay. Impress Mona with your skills. Oh. I guess there's a number of things to do in town. We've earned 22% of the achievements, and there's a whole lot more to go. I think that might be more fun than, like, proceeding with the actual plot. Um, either way... We made some good progress today, for sure. So, hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I have to give that some more thought. Uh, especially if I can't find um, my controller with which I can play Cook, Serve, Delicious. Might have to mod the game myself to use my special controller. Or do some special key mapping thing, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyway, hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time.